Hey guys, what's up? This is Sarah. I thought I would do a quick sales update for you this weekend. Actually, it might not be that quick, but uh, yeah, this is a sales update for my week on eBay. So let's get started. All right, so if you're brand new to my channel, I'm going to tell you and also remind you for those of you that are not brand new to my channel, some of the things that I sell look like a mistake where it's like, oh, you only made a dollar on that or you're not making any profit on that. It's not a mistake. It's a strategy to push my listings up in eBay search rank. I mentioned how I do this before in some of my other videos. Oops, get off my screen. Anyway, let's get started. <clears throat> L.L. Bean toddler dress. Sold it for five fifty one with free shipping. Ended up making like a dollar on this. I'm fine with that. This I sold for ninety nine cents with free shipping. Again, I was pushing my listings up in search. My my um, strategy has been working. I learned this from another reseller called Just Another Seller on Instagram, and she sells thousands of dollars worth of items a day. The strategy that I started, um, I started doing this a couple weeks ago and it's working for me. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, this is a Banana Republic women's shirt. I got it at the bins. It probably cost me 50 cents. Sold it for $10.51. I started this on auction for a dollar, so I'm really happy that it went up that high. This I got at the bins, started it off at 99 cents, sold it for $1.81. This is another bins find, sold it for $2.30. Bins find, $2.25. This actually went to Hawaii. This is a, a bins find that I sold very quickly. I believe I took a best offer on it for $16.99 and it went with first class shipping. It's an SL Fashions new with tag sundress. This has been sitting in my store for a while, um, so I just put it up for auction. Somebody bought it for $1.35. This had been sitting in my store for a while, and somebody bought it for $3.25. She actually bought a couple of things from me, so I put an extra goodie in her envelope. She bought these patterns as well. I gave her an extra pattern. Um, the person that bought the tank the cynthia raleigh shirt here she also bought these these were from the bins american eagle you can't tell in this picture but they were like a purple shade this is another bins find when i say bins i mean the goodwill outlet it's also called the weigh and pay you basically go dig for stuff and then you pay for it by the pound um so Yes, this sold for $14.99. Woo! This I actually got at the regular Goodwill. I loved it, and it sat there for a while, so I put it up for auction. And actually, they paid. I don't know why I accidentally put uh, expedited shipping on there, because I could have done first class. It's, like, pretty light. But, um, yeah, they paid, like, six, they paid, like, $11 for this, so I doubled my money. I'm pretty happy about that. This I actually bought from Nicole State for myself, but I didn't like the way it looked on me and I had already ripped the tags off and I didn't want to be a dick and return it to her without the tags, so I just sold it. I'm happy with that. Uh, this, a bins find, um, they actually just asked me for a return because they said it's definitely not a maxi skirt. Um, I don't know how tall they are, but this was a pretty long skirt, and I did put the measurements in there. But I want my customers to be happy, so I just gave her a refund. No biggie. These I got at the regular store for like $3.99, and they sat for a while, so I put them up for auction. Kate Spade, really good brand, really cute shoes. If they fit me, I would have kept them because they look like something my grandma would have worn, and I mean that in a good way. So $6.99 plus shipping, I just about doubled my money. I'm happy with that. 
these are bins fine and they sat there so i put them up for auction and some i probably made like two dollars off them after everything not everything is a twenty dollar profit and above guys but as you can see smalls add up because i had like so far four hundred dollar plus week um this is basically i just paid them to get it out of my store i got it from the bins that's fine this i got from the bins and i really wanted to keep it for my upcoming hawaii trip j crew bikini top but i was like let me throw it up there for 20 bucks and see if someone will buy it and of course because i really liked it someone bought it and that's okay i'm thrilled with 20 dollars from the bins these are uh j crew corduroy pants i'm pretty sure i bought these from a small like indie thrift store near my house for two or three dollars this i got from regular goodwill for five dollars it was a beautiful gown um i think someone sent me a best offer for like 15 bucks and i took it because i just wanted guys i'm in the business of move um selling clothes not hoarding them so i took the best offer this was a great find at the bins i believe somebody sent me a best offer for 13 dollars really cute um looks like a double layered top and i'm charged shipping on it too because it was pretty heavy this is another bins find i sell a lot of dance skin now i sell a lot of dance skin in general and I think I took a best offer for this $6. It's pretty light. It looks like double layers, but it just has the sleeves there. And that, that I got from the Goodwill outlet. This is actually one of my old fleece vests. It was way too big for me. I have a pin to the mannequin to show the curves, but I mean, it was really baggy on me. So I just was like, I'm not going to wear this. It's not flattering. So I sold it. Um, I still sell things from my own closet too. This I got from the bins and I sold it for, I put it up for auction and I sold it for $3.25 plus expedited shipping. This was a gift from my sister, Melissa. And although I loved the color, the hat just did not look good on me. So I sold it. These I got from the bins, Janie and Jack pants i put them up for auction they went up to 610 plus shipping great return on that 25 cent investment this i actually bought at a regular goodwill and it sat in my store for a couple of months so i just wanted to get it out so started the auction off at 99 cents went up to 550 plus 645 shipping these Unfortunately, I got at a regular Goodwill. I only paid like three bucks for them. I had a lot of watchers on them, so I put them up for auction. And the bidding only went up to 126 but that's fine. You know what? I, after, I, after I realized that they were coach, I was like, oh shit, I just want these out of my store in case if they're like counterfeit. Not that I think they are. I mean, they had a price tag on them still, but I didn't want anybody to... Uh, think that I was selling like counterfeit coach stuff. So it's better safe than sorry. These Tahari pants I got at the Goodwill outlet. Somebody bought them for 99 cents plus shipping. This was a great find at my regular Goodwill. I think I paid three to five dollars for it. The winning bid went up to 1705 plus 645 shipping. Mountain Hardware is a great brand. They're owned by Columbia. This is my own DVD that my husband Chad and I made. I've made thousands of dollars on profit on these already, so I was happy to just get these out of my store to boost my store in search rank. Um, Maggie London, I got this dress at the bins. Probably paid a buck or less for it. Someone sent me a best offer of like $17 and she bought three other things from my store. So I gave her an upgrade to first class shipping. Speaking of people buying multiple things from my store, um, I bought business cards with my eBay store. Um, 
link on it or web URL, whatever. It just says, thanks for shopping at Hawaii Treasures eBay store. And I stick that in with every order. And I've noticed a huge uptick in my customers that are returning to my store since I've been doing that. So the same person that bought the Maggie London dress bought this and Taylor skirt as well. This is another bins find. So all these items that you're seeing right now that I'm saying is from the bins. I went to the Goodwill outlet like the the first day that it was open after Christmas. And I found a lot of great stuff there. So I bought uh, 40 new without tags Cacique bras from another reseller. And I made a video about that. It's called how to buy wholesale stuff to sell on eBay. So I'm not going to talk a lot about that now, but basically I paid $5.40 each for the bras and I'm selling them for $19.99. Some of them are a little more. I'm charging a little more because the sizes are big and the shipping would be more. I'm talking about like H cup bras, like seriously. Um, but yeah, they've been selling great so far. I sold this one for $19.99. This is not one of those bras. This is just one that I got from the bins. Sold it for 10 bucks with free shipping. This is one of the new without tags bras. I'm running a sale this weekend for 25% off. So I have three of these pretty red bras left. I sold one of these today for $14.99 plus free shipping. I sold a 48C. This one I was selling for, uh, she bought it for $21.99. It's showing a different price because the sale I'm running today and there are three left. So this is what customers are seeing on my website or on eBay right now. She paid $21.99 for it though the other day. Sold another one of these cotton spandex demi bras, size 44B for 20 bucks. Sold these work pants from the bins for, I believe I took a best offer of $8. Oops. And that's it so far. I mean, it's Saturday afternoon and I'm running a sale. I'm giving myself a couple of days off eBay because I'm celebrating that I paid off my last student loan. And I also sell on Amazon and pets it and do a bunch of other stuff. So. I'm going to have fun this weekend. But guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know, you can comment on the video. And if you like this, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you.